So there's this book called Alone Together. It's about how society um, today, people with all their smart devices and computers, everyone's always got their face in the screen. Myself, I know I'm very much like that. I Not with my phone, because it's not really a good user experience anymore. It's kind of outdated. The computer, I'm always on the computer, like every waking moment. If I can be, I am on the computer. Anyway, without even reading the book, just kind of going off of the title and a little background, a lot of people are in solitude, even when they're with people, their mind is on their phone, in their phone. The book probably paints this whole situation in a negative light, but consider this. Right now is one of the most peaceful times in human history. That's not to say it's not without its problems, because there are plenty of world problems at this point. You know, rogue governments, inequalities, poverty, war. Although officially the United States is not at war, I had a friend who just went into boot camp at the start of this month. He told me, his recruiter told him, that the United States is not at war right now, which is totally bogus. You know, occupying countries, using force, by definition, I think we're at war. Anyway, that's not the topic here. So say everyone's got their mind in these computers, in these devices. Is that really such a bad thing? It may be bad for, I know myself, being connected all the time. It is lonely. It's one of the reasons I like YouTube so much, because it's kind of a social thing. Uh, even though it's, it's like you put a message somewhere and you get a message back. It's like writing letters, but it's more of a dynamic letter because you have pictures and audio and movement. Being online so much, it's kind of woken me up to a lot of things. World problems, like I explained earlier. Before, I was very apathetic about things like that. I didn't care. I had no involvement in world problems. I just tried to shut it out and watch YouTube or something. It's kind of weird watching so many and exploring the internet, every part of it, um, doing that for so long gets boring, and then I finally move on to something else. Eventually, I moved on to world problems. I figured out what we can do about things like these government policies, helping those in need. There's things I can do to change the world, because I want to change the world. I want to help change the world. And the world that I want to see isn't possible within my lifetime, I know that. But at least I can do things now that will affect future generations. One thing that I've embraced probably within the past year is the non-aggression principle. I had not even heard of that until last year. The non-aggression principle boils down to, it's simply what it says, aggression is wrong and there are no excuses for aggression. We live in a very violent world. Even though it's relatively peaceful, there's still a lot of aggression and a lot of violence. Um, it's in everybody's daily lives, from humor to movies to government. It, it's just a part of our society, and it's one that I think is wrong. And I think that's something we can do better at. We can form a society that's more peaceful. Uh, I watched a video that explained that there were two basic emotions, fear and love. There's subcategories of fear, there's subcategories of love. Anger, aggression, all fall under fear. It's a natural reaction for, for people to be aggressive towards what they fear. It's a reason for wars. <laughs> you know, love isn't a reason for war. Love is a reason for the opposite of war, for peace. So what do I want to do to change the world? I want to spread the message of love. You know, people already know about it, it's, everyone knows about love, but what I want to do is remind people to not just consume love, but to give love. You know, this is, this is probably sounding all sappy and hippie-like, but uh, that's okay. It's a good way to live, I think. A hippie lifestyle I don't think is that bad, and I don't think it's bad at all. So what can I do to remind people to love each other. Not just close people, but everyone around you. Or everyone everywhere, really. It wouldn't make sense to love just the people around you and then people on the other side of the world don't love them. We're all in this together. We share this planet together. 
we're all human. I think we should love each other and help each other. Man, I'm getting this weird feeling in my stomach. Uh, it's a good feeling, though. <laughs> Peace, bro and sister. <laughs> this cross-country road trip I want to do, I want to make a challenge for myself to volunteer everywhere I go. You know, whether it be soup kitchens or sorting food, even if it's cleaning up a park, you know, just whatever. I haven't been religious for a long time. I don't plan on being religious. But one thing that I really respect about religion is the fact that they do so much to help people. A lot of the volunteer work that I've done in the past, probably most of it, was through the church I went to. I haven't done much of any volunteering since I haven't gone to church. I want to get back to doing that because beyond the philosophical value of helping people and volunteering, there's good rewards. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna cry. I'm a little emotional. But I haven't got a lot of sleep lately. It's how I operate when I'm feeling good, as weird as that seems. When I'm feeling bad, I sleep a lot. When I'm feeling good, I sleep a little. It's one of the ways I cope with when I'm not doing so well as I sleep. Anyway, yeah, I, I just know there's a lot of personal value in volunteering. Like at the end of the day, after working hard just for the sake of helping someone, that feeling at the end of the day is really good. So it's 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 almost selfish to volunteer, but really it's it's very mutual. Yeah, that's that's it for now. This is this is a kind of strange way of doing vlogs, but I kind of ran out of content to share, so I just look at the camera and talk, and then post whatever happens. Catch catch you people later. Oh, one thing. It's probably cheesy, but I. I learned some sign language, two signs, peace, love, catch you guys later.